What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Should know about a quiet place in this video here today. Talking about that prequel that's coming out. Not next year anymore. It's now been pushed because it was supposed to come out. I did a video like two months ago. It's supposed to come out September of 2023. Not going to happen. It's now coming out in 2024 on the date of March 8th of 2024. So the movie we know I've touched on this in my other video. It's titled Day One. A Quiet Place Day One. I guess we can call it A Quiet Place Three. But they seem it, from what i've gathered they don't i guess want us to consider this the third entry in the series but it is i feel like they still are what they're going to do is still call the main storyline with the abbott family a quiet place three and i mean if you call it that that's fine i honestly think it's best that you don't though in reality this is going to be considered three to most people so hopefully this one isn't the only one that has a subtitle hopefully the actual a quiet place three with the Abbott family has a subtitle as well but again that movie now has a release date of march 8 2024 to my knowledge the actual fifth movie that john krasinski is expected to direct with him or not with him but with him back as a director and emily blunt leading the cast that film is expected to be out in 2025 so we'll see if any of this actually plays out how it's starting to be planned initially uh and hopefully there's no other hurdles because again day one was supposed to be out next year now you're not going to be revisiting this universe until 2024 in march so it's we know it's going to be directed by the the, the, the person that directed pig who's which star nicholas cage is going to be directed by michael cernoski um and it's again just a spin-off movie they're considering it that is set in the same universe and going to be mostly centered on that initial day of when the aliens came to the earth now we know that we saw that already as like a flashback sequence at the start of part two a quiet place part two however presumably of course it's going to center on a different family different group of characters and we'll see what they were going what they were up to during this initial attack and just go from there there might be some cool things that tie them into the abbots or maybe some little knots to the abbots and maybe some connections that they share as far as a family that maybe i'm going to assume ends up surviving and I hope hopefully it's not something that's overly well actually maybe it's best if it is something that's overly gruesome in its presentation honestly because with the last two movies we have this tight-knit family here with the Abbots if they're going to be the heart and soul of this of this universe because I know they said they hope that this can grow into this universe I guess like the walking dead before the big screen if it grows into this universe I'm fine with the Abbots being our heart centerpiece uh kind of like our big three of the characters importance in the in the series in this world but if you're gonna have spinoff movies i hope we don't play it safe with those characters in these spinoffs i would rather us uh, see something a little bit more on the on over the edge something a little bit more uh something that goes there in the sense that your characters are not going to be riddled with plot armor and I'm not saying that there's something wrong with having plot armor initially, but over time, I think if you keep on revisiting the Abbots, one of them is going to have to go. We already lost the already lost the father. I guess depending on how many years later you actually can set any future sequels with the Abbots in, they would of course ultimately end up losing, I guess, their mother, maybe even maybe even their infant sibling, or one of the other two kids could end up dying during this uh, invasion that's occurring on the Earth from these creatures. So. I'm excited about a Quiet Place Day 1. It's, it's not coming out next year. It's coming out in 2024. My only hope, though, with this universe still is that they don't do anything. Like, they don't overstay their welcome. Honestly, that's all I really don't want. But I I have a feeling that, of course, honestly, just like any other thing when it comes to this, because it's still a business, as long as we continue to go out and see these movies, we're going to be in a Walking Dead situation where you have countless seasons, countless storylines, countless movies just coming out left and right. Some are going to be hit or miss. This might be our next Saw series, honestly. Not movies that, come, that are coming out once a year, but it could be like the biggest thing since since saw since the the launch of the conjuring universe even uh this is like i would say the next biggest thing if they can actually kick off a legitimate universe of movies that 
over, that can stay for over 10 years or so or at least be relevant for a decade like saw did like the conjuring universe has done if they can somehow accomplish that then it'll be the biggest thing i would say since the introduction of the conjuring universe for the horror horror genre specifically in the sci-fi subgenre of it um i'm very into the narratives we've had so far i do like john krasinski as a director i know at one point he wasn't even wanting to direct the sequel but he ended up doing it he seems like he's going to direct the third one when we go back to visit the abbott family i really am just hoping that when we revisit the abbott family that we take some risk with the narrative and i'm not saying that it's a, necess a necessity for one of them to die but depending on what you have to offer as far as like new characters maybe start considering doing some different things other than the same old same old uh you know they can they can live but don't make them so like i don't want it to be written in a way that makes it so impossible to believe that they're still alive all three of them and the kid <laughs> Uh, honestly, the kid should be the most. The, I, I feel like the kid probably should have the most plot armor. Obviously, even if the kid were to die, if they had the little baby die, it's not going to be something we see on screen. That little child has been used as an effective plot device to build tension in both the sequel and the original movie. So, if they want to keep exploring something like that in the third outing, I'm not against that. It also, of course, depends on how many years later it's set, assuming there's going to be a time jump, because the baby, of course, will have to grow. Uh, so, I guess he can't always be this source of tension building being used as that type of plot device that's been very effective so far i guess it can't always be like that but i just hope that when we revisit the abbots we get something that takes a little bit more risk maybe makes them feel a lot more at danger and make the stakes feel a little bit higher uh so far of course going into the third one any situation they're placed in i won't feel like they're in real danger unless the envelope is pushed enough to make me believe it uh and again, with the whole day one scenario, we know that's the movie we have coming next, that prequel. Don't know really too many plot specifics there. So we only know it's going to be exploring a little bit more for a longer period of time. The opening of what we saw in A Quiet Place to the day one of when they arrived on Earth. We're just going to be focusing on a different group of people. Uh, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt both are not both are not expected to reprise their roles in any shape for this prequel so it's going to be a completely fresh idea set within the same universe with a new storyline involving the same creatures we'll see how that plays out if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video